Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jack Mini Trades back again with another video and today I wanted to go and walk you through uh, some of the new features and things coming in iPadOS 26. Um, I meant to make a video on this uh, a long time ago after WWDC right when it came out since I've been using it since then but I just haven't really had the time um, with doing weddings and other things like that to actually go ahead and walk you guys through it. So uh, here I am just going to show you guys uh, everything that is new and exciting um, in the world of iPadOS. So um, one of the biggest things for me is going to be right here, which is the ability uh, to now resize windows and work with them just like you would on a Mac. And the great thing is you don't even need to have the magic keyboard for this. You can use your fingers and at first I was kind of thinking that it was going to be a little bit awkward and weird to kind of work with, but it's actually pretty easy, even if you're using your fingers to uh, resize windows and sort of play with them. Um, if you're trying to do things uh, like resize from a corner, usually it's easiest to go and grab here where the corner uh, button is, um, especially if it's down here super low towards the, uh, the dock. But once it's sort of floating by itself, now you can grab pretty much any corner. You can grab this one, which has the little white uh, icon there, or you can grab on the other side, um, even though there is no icon. And of course you can resize horizontally. You can also resize uh, vertically. Um, though again, if you're doing vertical resizing, you wanna do it from the bottom up. You can't really do from the top down because the top is where you grab to move the window around. Um, the other thing that's really great is that they added a feature which they added last year to Mac OS. Um, so if we go here and we hover over our three dots, now we actually have a very Mac style um, three dots menu. And if you tap here and hold on the green icon, you'll have a couple of options on how you want to move your windows around. So what you can do is you can move this uh, to predetermined location. So I can go here, have it move to the left. So now it's one half of my screen taken up by this app, um, or I can move it to the other side. Um, so you can do that. Um, the other thing is you can also have it be top half or you can have it be bottom half. Um, and you can also even do uh, full screen if you want. Um, full screen works whether you just tap the green icon or if you press and hold. Um, you can also have it as a third um, so that we can use another app. So let's actually bring in another app. Let's bring in um, Let's see, music. So here music opened in full screen mode by default, but I can just as easily go ahead and make it a third. And now we can see that we have music and um, our good notes side by side. If I wanna go in here to good notes and I wanna have it be split screen, um, then I can go here to music, split screen to the right. And now you'll see in the middle that we have this little bar that we can resize dynamically uh, the two windows at once. So one becomes larger, the other one becomes smaller. Um, and this even works when you're in other configurations like this um, so that we can get it exactly the right size that you want. Um, so all of that is very, very, very cool. And one of the major features of iPadOS uh, 26. And so one of the questions that I had when I first started working with this is where exactly did the old style of multitasking go? And uh, to answer that question, it is completely gone. So here, if we go into our uh, control center and we tap and hold here on our multitasking, you now have windowed apps and for app uh, iPads that support it, you have Stage Manager. Um, if I turn this off though, you'll see that we go into just a full screen single app and we have no three dots menu at the top anymore. So you pretty much do not have access anymore to that old style 
of uh, multitasking, which for me took a little bit of getting used to, but I promise once you do get used to this new style, uh, it's gonna be a lot better for you. Um, this one is way, way, way more powerful in what you can do. Another thing that's really cool is that if you swipe down from the top of any application, you have now uh, file, edit, format, view, window, help. Um, you have all of these quick actions uh, which are dependent on the app that you're using and they can kind of help you to get around a little bit faster. So if you want to open up another window without having to go down here, uh, right click or long press and then go and choose one of your windows, you can just as easily go up here to window and then just choose uh, the new window that you want to have. So that is something that is very, very cool and very welcome with the new iPadOS 26. Um, the other thing, of course, is your liquid glass um, display and all of that. So liquid glass is kind of a uh, UI element that uh, Apple is calling now. Um, and it basically just kind of looks like glass when you have uh, your windows sort of overlaying over each other. Um, it just kind of gives a overall cleaner experience. Um, the other thing is that even when you're using things like your um, control center here, most of the screen is completely unblurred, so it kind of keeps that sense of continuity. Um, it's not really something that is going to be super forefront in your mind when you're using the iPad, but it is something that is pretty nice um, just so that way you know you feel more unified and the other thing that's great is that even though there really aren't many new features beyond uh, the obvious one which is the multitasking um, ipad os now really feels continuous with mac os so when you're using um, stage manager or you're using uh, the windowed applications on both platforms now they're exactly the same um, and so you have a lot more flexibility in terms of that. Um, another thing is that now we also have a full preview application for PDFs and things like that. So if I want to go here and I want to open up a PDF, now it opens in uh, preview instead of in files. So that is something that is pretty nice now. Um, and you have, of course, all of your markup options and you have um, text editing. You can change uh, your background uh, to be dark mode or light mode um, if you want normal stuff that you'd be used to if you've been using a Mac for years. So now if we go in here to the camera application, uh, now it uses this new swiping UI. So if you want to go to portrait mode, square, whatever, um, and then for video, you have regular video, slow-mo, time-lapse, um, all of those features are available to you just by swiping up and down. Apple thinks it's more ergonomic and more uh, intuitive. I don't necessarily disagree, but I also don't really think that it's that big of a game changer. But anyway, that is another change that is pretty big uh, for any of you who actually care about that. Something that is actually quite massive, uh, in my opinion, is the calendar. Um, and this is something that's pretty much shared across all devices now. Um, if you open up your calendar, now you can see pretty much all of your events for an entire day in this little tablature format. So it makes it very, very easy, even when you're in month view, to see what's going on. Normally, uh, in previous versions, you'd have to be in week view or something like that to see all of your events. Now, what's really great is that you can keep it in month view and you see all of the events that are lined up for you on a particular day and so that is something that's really really great and really helpful for any of you guys who use your ipad or your mac or whatever professionally and this is pretty much the same in ios ipad os and mac os as well as even watch os watch os even has uh, a little bit of this although you don't really get all of the text of course because the watch display is going to be small but that is something that was a really really huge and welcome change but yeah, with that being said, um, I know that this video is pretty short, 
but I hope you guys did enjoy it and uh, get to see some of the really cool features coming to iPadOS uh, 26 this fall. And if you guys have not yet already, um, I would highly recommend actually downloading and installing the public beta for this. It's completely free. You don't need to pay anything for it. And it'll give you access to all of these features right now. Um, the betas from my uh, experience have been pretty stable ever since about beta three or beta four. Um, right now we're on beta six. So we are pretty close to the actual launch of this. So if you did wanna go ahead and actually try it out, I don't think you'd have any problems whatsoever. But with that being said, if you guys like this video, definitely be sure to drop a like down below and leave a comment on your thoughts and opinions on iPadOS 26. What are you guys most excited for? What do you wish that Apple would do that they haven't done already? Definitely want to hear those thoughts and comments down below. So be sure to leave a comment and I will see you guys again in the next video. Later.